As promised in the last video, in the last example, um, you can work out the quartiles in the interquartile range using the stat mode on a uh, Casio scientific calculator. And the particular one I'm going to demonstrate this on is the Casio FX82 um, um, plus 2. Very important that it's got to be a plus 2. The plus on its own, okay, does not have this function. So my first bit of advice would be get yourself one of those plus twos if you don't have one already or an, an equivalent calculator that can calculate that for you. You're allowed to use this, okay? So you are at a bit of a disadvantage if you don't have um, a plus two, okay? So unless you're willing to work it out manually but you're gonna be spending potentially quite a bit of time. Anyways, that aside, assuming that's what you've got or it could be the, even, even the FX100, um, it'll work as well, the 100 um, AU plus. Um, this will be able to uh, work out the quartiles as well. Right, let's begin. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the stat mode. Now, hopefully you can see this okay. I'm just gonna brighten that up a little bit. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna zoom in um, on that shortly, okay? So in fact, let's just see if this works. Ah, excellent, all right. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to get the, put the calculator into stat mode. We press the mode button, okay? And you've got uh, one, two, and three. We're gonna press number two, all right? Stat, and we're gonna press number one, one variable uh, or single dimensional, uh, which is sort of the regular statistics that we use. All right, then you've got a, a, a column there, like a kind of like a, a, a spreadsheet uh, type column, and we're gonna enter in um, the scores, okay? So hopefully we can see that okay. Yes, all right, so I'm just gonna enter those in. After each value, just press equals. Five, one, two, five, seven, eight, three, one, and nine. Okay. So now that we've entered those in, all right, we want to calculate Q1, Q2, and Q3. Press AC. Relax, the data's still there. Hasn't disappeared, okay? Now this button and this uh, what it said when it said where it says stat you're going to use that quite a bit. Press shift. In fact, anything in yellow on the calculator uh, above the keys um, you use the shift key. Okay, so this key there just push it once. Don't have to hold it. I notice some people they hold the button down. It's not like a shift key on a computer. All right, or on a, on, a, on a laptop. Just press it. A little little S will will come up on your screen. All right. Then press number one. And voila, you get this awesome statistics menu and you can work out all sorts of cool things with it. Now, what we need, we need the min max menu. All right, so press number five. And what do you notice? Minimum value, maximum value, Q1, familiar with that now, lower quartile, the, qu the quartile at the bottom that separates the bottom 25% from the upper 75%. Our favorite median, that's our Q2, that's the middle value or the, or the, or the uh, center score. And you've got Q3, the upper quartile. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna work out uh, the uh, lower quartile first, Q1. Just press, press it and press equals, okay? Um, okay, so just pushing the equals key, 1.5. No working out needed, especially if you're not asked for the working out um, and it's only worth one mark. Don't waste your time trying to do this manually. Just use the calculator, that's what it's there for and, you, and it'll work. So Q1 is 1.5. Just move that over a little bit. All right. Next, let's work out Q3. So I pressed AC, shift, one. Okay. Min, max. All right, hopefully we're getting used to the drill now. Um, in fact, no, let's work out the median. So rather than writing the word median, uh, I could write Q2. Uh, Q2 just means the same thing as the median. All right. So press number four, median, five. No surprises there. And Q3, so press the AC, shift one, min max, number five, Q3, and we get 7.5, okay? So these were the same values um, that we determined in the previous video where we, where, where we worked out um, these values manually. Now, interquartile range, all right? Um, you just uh, subtract 1.5 from 7.5, but if you want to be really, I guess, I don't want to say lazy, but you know, you sort of couldn't be bothered. Um, shift one, okay, number five, you press Q3 minus shift one, 
number five, Q1, Q3 minus Q1. And there you go. Okay. How good's that? All right. Hope you've enjoyed and look forward to creating the next video for you.